Hello guys, what's up? I'm on Narts here, and uh, today I got a tutorial, might be a two-parter, and it's how to make these cool axe cans and how to model an axe can in Cinema 4D. So it's probably going to be a kind of long tutorial, but it's not very complicated, and it's pretty easy to follow along with. So, yeah, so open up Cinema 4D, and... Step one, I'm just going to be uh, doing some quick render settings for you guys. So click here on the render settings. And uh, you're going to want your output. You're going to want that 1920 by 1080. Uh, you're going to want your frame range to be current frame, unless you're planning on making an animation, which you could. And uh, for save format, you're going to want to save it as a JPEG and give a name like Axe. And sorry about all you guys who uh, are familiar with Lynx. I haven't heard of it before, but uh, I guess I read in the comments, I guess it's like a British version of Axe, or Axe is an American version of Lynx, either way. But uh, this is for Axe, so. But it's the same thing. And for analyzing, you're going to want Best, and you're going to want the Threshold, uh, 7 or 8, and the Mid-Level, just make that 2x2. Two and options, let's just make the ray depth right here 2, the reflection depth uh, 2, and the shadow depth 6. And then uh, you're going to add the effect, just one effect, aiming occlusion uh, to get some nice shadows. Change the minimum ray length to 25 and the maximum ray length 300. Just kind of makes your shadows like uh, longer and make the contrast 30 which makes the shadows darker and the minimal samples 80 which pretty much is a quicker render and I think we're good for render settings uh, so the first thing we're going to be doing we're going to be uh, outlining part of the axe bottle with an image that I have uh, in the description of this video and I'll show you what it looks like so you can find it. It is, should be the first image I have. It's this one right here. It's an axe bottle. So I'll go ahead and get that image from the description, save it as axe body spray or whatever. And once you've done that, go back to Cinema 4 d so you can actually uh, start working on something. And you're going to go to click on mode and click on view settings after that go into your four views and go into the front view which is like the bottom right view right here so click on that and uh, work, uh, when you have mode view settings in the back under image you'll have these little three dots so just click on those and click on the image I just showed you whatever you saved it as I have it as axe body spray so here you have this uh, nice image, and we're only going to be outlining part of it, uh, like this part right here, the bottom part, not the top part. So click on the spline tool and click on Beezer. Zoom in uh, on your image so you're comfortable with it, and click right here on the right kind of corner to begin, and then go up all the way to kind of the top right corner then zoom in a little bit more just do one line to go across there and if you for example drag a point there by accident you don't have to edit undo you can just click the point and drag it back so you want it to so just follow along what I'm doing and just cut right across right there and straighten that point out this is an important part so you want to get this perfect, click a line there. So you click, pretty much click one single line right there. And then go down, click on the bottom left corner, and make sure the points are about at the same height, and just connect them. And, and then go into your four views and click on the perspective view. And you should get something that looks like that like a bottle and to make this three-dimensional uh, you're gonna click on right here on the different types of nerves 
you're going to want to use a lathane, your, which pretty much just makes it kind of circular, like a circular spline. And it's a good thing to know how to use the lathe nerves because it's effective. So you're going to drag the spline into the lathe nerves. And then you can get something that pretty much looks like that, like the bottle. And don't worry about the top. It's kind of messed up, but you won't see that. Don't worry about the bottom either. Anyway, we got a nice uh, bottle. And that's all we need to do for that. So that's the bottom part of the bottle if you have. If you, if you have an Axe or Lynx bottle in your house, you might want to just get it so you know more what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, next thing you're going to do, you are going to make a cylinder and just keep it in the center so you don't have to recenter it later. And for your cylinder, it's important that you get these uh, specs, same as I have them. For uh, You're going to make the radius. Type in 130. Uh, sometimes it automatically goes to zero. So then you're gonna make the height 260, and then go to caps and just check off fillet and change your radius to uh, maybe something like eight. So it kind of gets that rounded edge like the axe has or links. And then go into the four views and click on the right view. It's good to switch between views because it gets a more accurate angle. Just click on your cylinder and with the green arrow, drag it up so a little bit of it's overlapping slightly with the other bottle. Like that. And now, once you did that, go into your perspective view. And you got something that kind of looks like an axe bottle right now. A few more things we're going to be doing. Uh, just a note if you have an axe bottle in hand, not gonna be really making those little ridges at the top or the uh, or that kind of arrow indent in the top because I tried it and it was too hard to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna be getting all the perfect details, but I'll be getting it like I did in the uh, preview, exactly like that. So once you have this uh, basic X bottle, you're gonna let me see. You are going to make a tube, which is uh, under the cube blue tool. Just click tube. Just keep it in the center so you don't have to recenter it. But uh, you're gonna make the outer radius. Start with the outer radius and make that 100, and then go to the inner radius and make that 90. And you're gonna wanna check off fillet, and you're gonna make the radius three. And you can't see it right now. That's because it's inside the bottle. But uh, if you go into your right view. Uh, just drag it up so a little bit of it is poking out at the top and I'll explain to you guys why we're doing this later just check your top view and make sure it's centered and for me it is so once you have something that looks like that um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this tool and click on boule and I recently learned this in iDigital Universe's uh, tutorial pretty much boule is used to make one object kind of cut into another object. So to get that kind of circular indent, this is how you're going to make it on the top of the axe bottle. You're just going to drag the um, you're going to drag the cylinder and the tube. Make sure you have the cylinder at the top and the tube at the bottom in that order, and sh select them, and then drag them into the boule. And now it should cut the tube into the cylinder, and yeah, I don't want to render it because I need a light to, um, actually, I'll, I'll just add a light right now for you guys. So, click on this, uh, four arrows, and click light, and just move it forward and up. So just get a good angle for that, and then you can just center it. And if you want to give it a quick little render, you will uh, see that little indent on the top